General Motors back with a vengeance. The U.S. automaker posting its biggest quarterly profit in six years, $1.3 billion to be exact. Just a year ago, GM needed billions in federal bailouts, remember, to get through those bankruptcy proceedings with our money, of course. So can we call the bailout a success? With me now is Ed Patowski. He's a managing partner at Chapworth Capital Investment Management. Um, thank you so much, Ed, for talking to us. First of all, uh, would you uh, would you call the bailout a success? We all complained about it for a very long time. So to be fair, well, well, sure, well, sure Julian. You know what? I'm very happy that things have turned around, but I don't think you can call it a success when taxpayers have literally, when this debt is repaid, it's only a portion of it. They're still we're basically getting 13 percent of what they have of the taxpayers' money. So it's not going to be a success till we have every single penny back. That company is up and running and self-sustained for a long period of time. So it's way too early to call this a success. Since GM posted its biggest profit in six years that we're talking about, I, I want to know if, if taxpayers can expect to see a return on their investment. Well, all right, and this gets a little technical, but let me take us through this. Basically, at this point, the, the government has 60% of General Motors, meaning we have 60% of General Motors. That basically turns, down, turns out to be about $43 billion is what we have invested into General Motors at this point. If they were to IPO, and let's just say that they were the same value as Ford, we would basically get $24 billion back. We'd still be short somewhere around $21 billion. So when can we expect to get our money back? It's gonna be a very long time if we ever see that money back. So right now, everyone's reading headlines and it basically is saying that everybody is getting, you know, we're getting our money back, we're getting it back early. That is just not true. And I wish people would really read a little deeper than the headlines and understand that we are far from getting our money back. We still have 86% of our money in that company. GM's chief financial officer, Chris Liddell, said that he's particularly pleased that a company that essentially ran out of cash a year ago has generated $2.8 billion in cash in the quarter. I mean, that is a lot right. of money to produce in one quarter. I want to know what this means for investors uh, when GM starts selling shares again. Does this mean that the government is, is going to finally pay us back in that respect? Well, they're not going to pay us back in that respect. I mean, this is you know still to be seen. I mean, I think the company is doing fine. It's doing better. And any comparables, if you look back a year ago, any company looks better. I'm very happy General Motors is doing better. And I think that, you know, obviously everybody in Detroit and around the world is happy that General Motors is doing better. But in terms of our investment in that company, I don't see that coming back to us anytime soon. We still have 86% of our money in that company. When, they, when and if they IPO it, we're not going to get back what is left in there, that $43 billion. So when they start so selling it, shares again, is it a good thing to buy them? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, if I was looking at General Motors versus Ford, which one uh -huh. would you be buying? All right. And um, I'm, I'm certainly not going to be a buyer of General Motors till I see a long term track record of a lot of good earnings and a lot of good products. And this Voight is certainly not going to mm -hmm. pull this company out. And that's what they're promoting quite a bit. I mean, just buying the Voight costs us seventy five hundred dollars every time someone buys it. That's the government subsidies that goes into it. And Julie, one other thing I want to point out just the other day, the government announced a five hundred million dollar infusion of capital into a plant, General Motors plant in Mexico to save four hundred jobs in Mexico. Mexico. Hmm. I think that's outrageous. We'll do our next segment on that one next time we have you back. Ed Butowski, okay. thank you very much. We appreciate it.